Solve Climate Challenges and the Perfect Storm The solution of all what threatens and matters to us humans fits in just one sentence. Regenerate forests and soils. Scientists excessively discovered and proved in the last decades that significant parts of the Amazon forest, forest and soils, were regenerated, enriched, but this long before the European colonists arrived in the Americas roughly 500 years ago. In other words, the most fertile parts of the Amazon forest are not fully a natural forest, but were also made by humans, modified and enriched, especially the soils, but also the tree composition. Sequestering carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere by regenerating forests and soils. This enrichment can be resumed as enrichment of forest and soil with carbon dioxide sequestered from the atmosphere. In other words, in the deep past, Amazon Amerindians practiced large-scale carbon sequestering, CDR, something for which E. Musk and a few others offer rewards or prizes that go as high as 100,000 US dollars. Before the arrival of the Europeans Until more than 500 years ago Amazon Amerindians created these extreme and surprisingly fertile soils, but also influenced and enriched the composition of the Amazon forest by adding certain tree species that were of particular importance to them. These Amazon Amerindians had and still have a special relation with certain animals, and they most probably acted and enriched together. Such fertile soils are needed for us to be able to justify that at least parts of the Americas sustained very high human populations, but this before the year 1500. The highest level of a modern similar CDR would be regenerating forests and soils of 1. Agroforests in Brazil, Latin America, and all other suited parts of the world. 2. Strategic agroforests like the Amazon forest, which most of us still consider natural tropical forests or tropical rainforests. The easiest and probably only way to regenerate forests and soils is by making that more carbon dioxide from the atmosphere gets into the forest and soils. In practice and for now, this means enriching forests, trees etc. and even animals, and its soils, roots and microorganisms, with a stable humus. A stable humus a basically is sequestered carbon dioxide, through natural CDR, which on its turn stimulates, fertilizes, trees, plants and other biodiversity etc., kind of an immense natural factory, to gain a rather exponential amount of biomass, which in itself is a clear sink, somehow on the roll, of sequestered carbon dioxide, delivering on site the basis material to obtain a much larger amount of stable humus, significantly more and quicker. Which, this fertilizer and catalyst, now come at the direct disposal of the forest and soil. Since most tropical forests were prone to degeneration for many centuries, since and even before the year 1500, because the Amerindians no longer enriched their forests and soils. Some help fertilizer and catalyst from humus from not forest areas, including urban areas and cities, would be very welcome and greatly accelerate the pace of regeneration and of the sequestering of carbon dioxide out of the Earth's atmosphere. This amounts to a yearly amount that is much more than the amount required for the prizes and also much more than what is generally considered, by consensus and science, sufficient to solve all climate challenges. We think that it is safe to say that for the general public and possibly also for consensus, climate challenges and any eventual perfect storm equals climate change, this while we think it would be safer to say that any climate change is a part of all climate challenges, and possibly of any perfect storm. To make sure we are not interpreted to act against the platform policies, at this point we repeat one of our claims, in the description we are convinced that initiatives of an info provided by the UN regarding climate are very useful and very necessary. Stimulation of CDR by means of stable humus in forests and agroforests. The natural in place production of stable humus e in forests and agroforests can be triggered and stimulated, significantly increased, by a minimal manual work by trained teams, which, especially in the case of the Amazon forest best, are composed of Amazon Amarins. For now, I suggest visualizing this mentioned manual work as the pruning of a small number of invading shrubs and secondary trees, which leads to a largely directed increased growth and sequestering in as little as three months, and can sustain for 16 years or much more as is the case of the terra preta of the Amazon Amerindians that sustained for at least 500 years. Create carbon agroforest or Amazon forest and trigger a little ice age. Proof that carbon agroforest, and possibly forests, cool the planet and cause ice ages. Before the latest plague, Black Death, starting in 1347, 
humans deliberately and systematically enriched their agricultural lands and at the same time degraded pastures, to avoid forests to naturally reinstall themselves in their pastures. When humans died because of the plague, and or abandoned their agricultural lands, forest would naturally reinstall and grow on the by them left enriched agricultural lands, the same or similar to what happened a few centuries before in the Amazon forest. At the same time they also abandoned the practice of degenerating soils for pasture as well as deforestation, and especially deliberate forest fires. Consequently the seemingly natural newly grown forests became at least in part carbon forests or from the viewpoint of soil and fertility, human-made forests, instead of simple naturally regenerated forest. 1. Over 500 years ago the Amazon Amerindians applied a similar method and sequestered carbon dioxide into extremely stable humus soils, so massively that this method formed sustainable fertile soils typical for the Amazon forest, partial human-made soils called Amazon Dark Earth or ADE, and a change in the composition of the forest, partial human-made composition. This ancient Amazon Amerind human-made composition is part of what the Amazon forest is today, and also or possibly mostly, responsible for its impressive biotic pump effect that kind of creates more and more rain and cools the whole Amazon region. The degradation of this partially Amazon Amerind made tree composition and the degradation of the exceptionally rich soil adds to what makes the forest more vulnerable and what makes the forest slowly degenerate and more prone to collapse. This is so because it were the activities, humus and ADE forming, pruning, thinning, creation of patterns etc., of the Amazon Amerinds that triggered and maintained the natural regeneration of the tree species and the forest as well as maintaining a structure and composition that sustains the forest. According to consensus it was, only, the megafauna that maintained the natural regeneration of certain for structure and stability important tree species. However the megafauna died out many thousands of years ago, and consensus itself wondered why these tree species, supposedly only or mainly depending on this megafauna, did not die out, earlier themselves. In a way, this wondering of consensus is an indication that it was not megafauna that maintained the natural regeneration of certain tree species, or at best did not do this alone as consensus still suggests. 2. In the past the Amazon Amarins applied a similar method and sequestered carbon dioxide into extremely stable humus soils, so massively that this reduced carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and cooled the world into long and sustained ice ages and finally a little ice age sequestering 35 to 100,000 billion tons of carbon, CDR, a year. This means that when a forest area the size of the Amazon forest, once again, would be enriched with sequestered carbon, this would sequester CDR 35 to 100,000 billion tons of carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere. Such a massive sequestering, CDR would 1. Solve climate challenges globally. 2 improve the chances or save the Amazon forest from further collapsing. Modern research and solution silenced. This trial out and research was, again, successfully applied on a large scale in the Amazon forest in the period 1984 to 2000, and was kind of silenced because of certain vested interests. One of us was involved in this large-scale research for 16 years, the research team and research center he was part of were threatened to be processed and to have their funds withdrawn in order to silence this research. Under pressure, the research team had to abandon the research and the 1,000 hectare research area. Non-monetary support of research, solution and action plan. No money is needed nor asked for, passing on the link of this video or share, to others could suffice to spread this info and action plan, and is by itself part of and a way to actively participate in the action plan. At this point we would like to warn that no clear and effective action plan is made easily disposable to the general public, and we consider this a key problem and delay for any solution, and very alarming. We hope the viewer can see that this video and channel are parts of a clear and effective action plan that is freely available for all humans and this in five languages. If you think this info could be interesting, giving a like or subscribing to our channel, as well as assisting a few more videos that you think could be also of your interest, would support even more the presented action plan, model and solution. A real-life large-scale model. PDB team features and manages a 650 hectares beachfront model project in Brazil. This large-scale model is also a safe haven and a de facto congress center with focus on security, safe houses in a safe haven and destination, autonomy, economy, including income and or reducing of costs and sustainability. 
You can learn to know this model by visiting its websites and videos, in the description, or by visiting or making use of its many services and products, including safe houses for sale and for rent. If applied in the Amazon, the regeneration mentioned above could and would make that Amazon forest and its climate benefits would be saved from eventual imminent collapse. Especially if a modern version of this ancient method or action plan of the Amazon Amerindians was applied in the Amazon region, especially so in the regions that already are deforested, still a limited area, and or degenerated, most of the area. The suggested modern method, just like the already tested and successful method, ancient and modern, could involve so little invasive action, as only very selective pruning, and this again without machines. The major progress and efficiency gain for the modern version would be the use of small very low energy demanding drones, which also would be helpful for the decision making essential visualization of the trees and canopy where the active team on the ground has no visualization. Important part of this result would be achieved if the agriculture in the already deforested Amazon patches would transform their low quality and quantity producing fields, extensive non-organic and not sustainable agriculture, from like large scale monoculture production, into high producing, quality and quantity, kind of agroforest agriculture, enriched agroforest, which is according to sustainable and organic agroforest principles at least in part similar to the ancient and still unique. Techniques of the Amazon Amarins that significantly cooled the planet and regulated its climate in the past, including leading up to certain historical ice ages. If applied outside the Amazon. If the method, first applied by the Amazon Amarins over at least 500 years ago, when they still are enriched the Amazon with sequestered carbon, was this time only applied outside the Amazon region, the result would be the same, except this would not prevent the actual Amazon forest from eventual collapsing. Such collapsing of the Amazon forest is still going on because of ongoing, ever more systematic degeneration, which facilitates destructive forest fires, because of the lack of any further enrichment, that was definitively interrupted at least 500 years ago, with sequestered carbon, and obviously also because of unsustainable exploitation of the forest and even more destructive deforestation. Thank you for assisting.